Hi Leo, it's L here to do your present energy, present day energy going into May. So it's April, late April going into May 2019. I've got two spreads here, one for love, one for career and finance. Um, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so what you came here for, love, right? All right, let's get into it. Um, so Leo could have been dealing with someone who is unfaithful. There's infidelity or there was infidelity. Leo could have been the person doing this or they could just be dealing with somebody who was um, unfaithful, right? Um Leo didn't have enough strength to walk away. Eight of Cups in reverse. And now my cards are in reverse, but that one came out in reverse. Then you get it upright in the playing cards deck. So it says, you know, you aren't walking away, but you need to have enough strength to walk away. Um, it looks like Leo, I don't want to walk away until it's confirmed. Like, Leo needs some confirmation of maybe um, a hidden person. A hidden woman, um, a third party, someone keeping secrets. Whoever this is in the background, they're not doing too much energetically. Like they're not, they're not gonna text you and say I'm with your man, or they're not doing anything. They may not even be seeing your man or your woman on a regular basis. Um, Leo's psychic abilities toward the opposite sex are heightened. This person could have caused, or you Leo, you caused this person a lot of anxiety. A lot of restless and sleepless nights, so a lot of you know extreme pain. Uh, this person thought it was the end with the nine of spades there. Um, the Leo seems to get some type of confirmation there's two parties that are not speaking to there's no communication here um for another set of leos just a whole lot of reserved energy love affection for a person that they are separated from for those in committed relationships, the Leo is trying to maintain the happy home, Ten of Cups. But the past, the negative past, keeps inserting, uh, interfering into that happy home. To where the Leo, at times, get the Three of Wands twice in two separate decks, thinks about just leaving behind this partnership because there's no stability here um, maybe I need to go on and create my own life elsewhere regret resentment remorse for staying in an unhappy situation one that I, I tried to portray as happy in the midst of all the jealousy gossip rumor heavy arguing pettiness backbiting one-upmanship but I may get true and firm in what I want and what I believe I deserve king of spades and leave something behind also there is a set of Leos maybe detached from Aquarius Gemini Libra but they want wish fulfillment they want to be with them nine of hearts um they want to maybe they have fond thoughts of want to reconcile with the queen of swords that maybe they caused a lot that there was an ultimate ending but now they want to recreate um reestablish the union with there is um yeah a set of leos who want to reconnect reconcile 
there's a set of Leos who are in third party situations. They know about it. Not having enough strength to walk away. Feeling like they don't have all the confirmation to do so. But the writing is on the wall. There's a Leo who wants some real success with another party. They want to completely transform uh, the energy here. The death card. They want to have a new victorious start. Look, look at that. The Ten of Swords and then the Ace of Swords. That came before that. They, they want to have a new victorious start. Maybe even an apology. This Leo may be a secret admirer admiring this person from afar looking at the situation should I start a new chapter maybe with a Leo like yourself an Aquarius Taurus Scorpio because you are holding on to your emotion energetically holding on to how you feel wanted to have a new level or establish some real status with this person wanting engagement or to take a relationship to the next level wanting to give loving messages page of cups to said party not sure if they'll take to this offer because they may think it's more of the three of cups maybe in doing so you, you're going to have to apologize and right the wrong bring balance because you want to salvage this relationship you want to compromise you want to fix it you want to be the the alchemist and put it back together maybe with another Aries Sagittarius Leo Sun Moon Rising or someone who gets a lot of attention who does a lot of things who is intuitively inclined someone who still reserves a lot of hostility for the situation and or you or this is you Someone who you are completely in love with, you may, they may, you completely in love with, and there might even be a level of obsession, daydreaming, day, obsessive daydreaming, sexual daydreaming about this person, maybe about how to get this back on board, how I know that this is the person for me, I know in my heart. I know my mind. I know spiritually. How do I bring that into fruition? Maybe even making a plan of action. Seven of Swords. Maybe in secret because some of you are still committed. Making a plan to go back to. Because you are completely in love with. Okay. So there's a Leo who is um, in that energy of wanting to reconnect and reestablish okay um let's see for career and finance we have the overall energy is the hangman just kind of just hanging in there hanging out knowing that things are going to turn out well for you uh letting things unfold naturally um not doing too much in regards to trying to manipulate the energy because this is where Leo is. The Will of Fortune and Queen of Swords. This is a person who's done a lot in their career career life. They've had the highs and the lows. They've just been disappointed. They've been elated. They've been, you know, um, well rewarded. Um, but this is a person whose fortune is changing. Someone who's been through the ringer, if you will, career wise so they they're not doing too much because they know I've put in the time the effort the work and I'm going to have a victorious new start not only just because I have done this I I I but because spirit is working on my behalf in the background there's an inner knowing that um an, an overstanding that I deserve this um, this is what I've prayed for. This is what I've struggled for. 
this is what I have persevered and been persistent in and now wish fulfillment comes in for me as that was pretty clear in regards to career and finance for the um, Leo that's beautiful just the advice here is just to do just to be you know um, because Things look very, very good for you. I want to clarify on the other side. Love is a little taxing, but isn't it always? But it looks like career and finance looks very good for you. Okay, so go ahead and click click that link if you feel like this reading is resonating with you for you. It's $2 to gain a bit more clarity about your situation. Especially if you're not in a place where you can afford a full-on personal reading for yourself. Um, or if you can go over to the website and book a reading make sure you're using coupon code 10 off 35 it's ten dollars off any reading 35 dollars or more thank you once again um know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care guys